in the forum of the Global Female Leaders Summit held in the Lithuanian capital. Earlier today, we were joined by the Shura Council delegation member Hala Ramzi, who briefed us on the topics discussed at the forum. This year's summit has its focus on women leadership and the difference it makes. For the shifting world security order, as well as today's digital revolution, need trusted leaders. It's a call to action, and this was the theme of this year's summit. Uh, several issues were discussed during the summit relating to women empowerment to increase the number of successful female leaders, uh, particularly economically and socially, hence having greater participation of women and engagement in politics. Also examples from countries that have advanced strategies leading to higher percentage of participation of women were also discussed in plenary sessions. So we took this opportunity to talk about Kingdom of Bahrain's progressive strategies set and led by the Supreme Council of Women to empower Bahraini women during the last 15 years and presented various related initiatives and programs aiming to increase the number of women participating in political, economical and social fields. Uh, on the other hand, most of the outcomes of this year's summit is about how women can benefit from global changes, such as technology, to create their future and overcome challenges faced to become strong leaders. Another important aspect is gender equality, where everyone emphasized that it's a major measure to enforce women's role, ensuring that she gets her chance to become a decision maker and a successful leader. And luckily, we in Bahrain, um, this is one of the successful programs introduced by the Supreme Council of Women and is being implemented progressively in government and private entities via the Opportunity Equity Committees as part of the national model for integration of women needs in development. Uh, honestly speaking, attending this summit was uh, made us feel so proud realizing the significant progress Bahrain has made compared to other countries internationally with regard to supporting women and mainstreaming her needs into various development processes as most outcomes are already in place and are part of the Supreme Council of Women's National Strategy. And of course, this wouldn't have been achieved without His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa's clear directions and Her Royal Highness Princess Sarika bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa's continuous support and concern to activate women's role in the society, leading to immeasurable contributions of Bahraini women in building and developing our country, which make us uh, members of the legislative authority keen to work in collaboration with various concerned institutions to sustain these achievements and build on them.